Okay, we're going to show you now the Babinski reflex, and this is a reflex of the foot and of the toes more specifically. This reflex is done by having your partner sit on a chair or on a bench, as my partner is, with their foot slightly extended. You can even have this supported from the bottom here, it doesn't matter, you can do that with the chair. The way you do the Babinski reflex is you use your reflex hammer or your ruler, but the edge of it, the back edge. And what you're going to do is you're going to stroke the person's foot. You're going to start from the heel and you're going to move right up to the toes. What you want to look for is any movement in the toes. An abnormal reflex of the Babinski would be a flexion of the toe this way and a fanning out of the toes this way. If you see this reflex, then that indicates that there's neurological damage in an adult. You would see this normally in the child, but not in an adult. So we'll just demonstrate again. You start from the heel, come up, you're looking for any movement of the toes. Movement of the toes this way is normal. Remember if the toe goes up and the, the four small toes fan out, that's abnormal. You will then test on the side of the foot again, going this way, looking for any movement in the toes, and then you will come across the foot, noting three different movements, watching for any movement in the toes. Remember, an abnormal Babinski reflex in an adult would be where the, the big toe fans upward and these fan out. You should not see that in an adult. That's the Babinski reflex.